Hey guys, welcome back to On3. I thought I'd just take a few minutes and show you what I keep in my very minimalistic pack. Minima, minimalistic. So I think of myself as a minimalist and I don't like to carry a bunch of stuff around with me on a daily basis that I'm not gonna need. I do find myself wandering through the woods from time to time, rarely on trail. And I like to do bushcrafty survival type stuff and practice my skills. And I just don't need a lot of stuff. And I can camp out, even in the winter time when it's cold out, with a small little kit like this and be relatively comfortable. Um, just strapped to the outside is a really, really warm wool coat. This is a Swan Dry. It's a New Zealand based company. And this thing is incredible. It's just 100% wool and it sheds water like nobody's business. I've been out in pouring rain for hours before and water never gets through to me. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible. It's really long, comes down to almost knee length. Super warm and cozy. On the outside, I've got an extra wool hat just in case I happen to be wearing a baseball cap or something and I want to spend the night out. I like to have a, a, a wool cap on my head. It keeps me nice and warm. And then a great big bandana. This is just a piece of cloth that I, I think I got from Walmart and bought a yard and cut it up into a great big giant bandana. Um, it could be used for everything. It's limitless what you could use a big bandana for. On the little sleeve inside my pack, by the way, this is a Hill People Gear Tarahumara. I think I'm pronouncing that right pack. And I really, really like it. It's very robust. It's just big enough to put the things that you need. Uh, not a lot of room for the wants, a little bit of room for that, but, but all the things that you need will fit in here just fine. In the back, I keep an ax. I don't need a knife in my pack. There's no other knives in here. I always have a knife on my person or a multi-tool. Generally this multi-tool right here, a Leatherman. Um, <clears throat> and this ax will serve all the other purposes. I know I could use a saw or whatever, but I just, I like an ax and that's what I keep in there. So this small ax fits in there great. Uh, a poncho, just a folded up poncho, regular mil spec poncho used for shelter, put it on for rain gear, whatever, lay down on the wet ground like it is right now to keep me up off of it. Um, lots of uses for this stuff. Inside the pack, I have a Grail uh, GeoPress water filter, which doubles as a water bottle. If you've ever used one of these, you know what I'm talking about. You basically just scoop up the water um, with the plastic outside cut part and then press the filter down into it. You've got fresh, clean water. Um, holds, I think it's 24 ounces of water in there. And then I've got my metal pot here. My metal pot, which is a container in and of itself, it holds all the rest of the stuff that I keep in my pack, keeps it dry if it was to get rained on or whatnot. I've got some snacks, basic snacks, a, a coffee, what have you, that I can make in this little pot. I've got a headlamp, some duct tape to fix anything. If I get a hole in my clothes, I could temporarily patch it up with some duct tape. Uh, a wooden spoon that I carved several years back and burnt the depression out with a hot coal. Um, and then several just varieties of cordage. This is Dyneema, which is crazy strong. I think the tensile strength on this is like 1,600 pounds, which is, which is outrageous. Um, hard to believe that something like that could support 1,600 pounds. Some small little length of paracord and then just some tarred mariner's line or bank line, whatever you want to call it. I've got a diamond knife sharpener with a ceramic on the back. I've been using this one for a long time. It's just about worn out, probably need to replace it, but it still, still gets the job done to touch up an edge. Uh, a ferro rod, two lighters. So I've got a lighter in my pocket, two lighters here, and this, because I think fire, especially in the winter time, is just crucial. With this very minimal kit, without a sleeping bag, uh, fire is gonna be absolutely essential, and without these things, it's gonna be much more difficult. Compass, just in case. A little bit of salt to add to whatever foodstuffs I might uh, scrounge up. I like to do a little small game hunting from time to time. And if I happen to shoot a squirrel or whatever, I can season it up with this and cook it in my pot. Everything, all the little tidbits fit inside the pot, which is great. Stuff's in the bottom of my pack. Everything else either goes in or strapped to the outside. And it's really all you need. Um, there's, there's all the need to's in here and not a lot of want to's. Honestly, you could do without any of this stuff if you have the right skills. You could make it 
with nothing for an extended period of time, a lot longer than what you think you can. Um, all of these things just make life so much easier and so much more comfortable. Are they necessities? Maybe in some situations, some of these things, this, this might be a necessity in some situations that you might find yourself in. Um, a cutting tool might be a necessity in some situations, but most of the time it's really not just as long as you're willing to um, endure some suffering. Thanks for joining in guys. We'll see you on the next one. This is my rooster and his name's Dude. Hey dude.